All right, people, you don't get this smile on my face very often, but Tom's here, Porsche Wilmington, North Carolina. He came to visit to do the formal introduction of our Brewster Green paint to sample 992 GT3 Touring. Uh, that this, I've said this, I've jinxed it, this theoretically will be my car forever. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, I, I very rarely say, well now, I think I've said that about a hundred times, but we're going to take you through the car here today. Um, I haven't done a real formal introduction to it, uh, so I want to take you through the options. Uh, sticker on this is roughly 223. Um, we spec'd it together. Uh, we'll put it in the description. We'll put a link in the description for you to go and look at the uh, video where we spec'd it virtually, but it's cool to see it come together in person. Live in person. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my darn schedule to line up to come up to North Carolina. And so we came up with this idea, well, let's do delivery together with the people at OGHQ. You haven't been here before and um, you've been following for a number of years because of the BMW stuff. Um, uh, Tom sold me my G80, my GT4, and now this puppy. It's the one. Darn good. <laughs> so the obvious thing on the exterior is the paint. It's what, 12,800 mm -hmm. bucks, $12,830 for Brewster Green, non-metallic. Correct. It has a black look to it. It looks black in certain lights. I'm generally not a dark car guy, but something about green, the darker version versus some of the others, like the, especially the, the, the brighters, like the Vipers and stuff like right. that greens. Um, what's the uh, lizard? Lizard, um, Python. Python, yeah, those, those don't appeal to me as much in this gentleman spec. Uh, so I was looking at like oak and forest and some of these other colors, but Brewster, you know, Brewster to me is the color. It's, it's the it's the fairy Porsche color. Um, it uh, I should have kept my mouth shut because now I see tons and tons of Brewsters <laughs> showing up all over the country. <laughs> it's not a secret color. No, it's not. But, but yes. no one was really talking about it. So one of the options I chose to do, uh, or one of the options I chose not to do, was the carbon fiber roof, which I'm a sucker for. Okay. We paid 12 grand for paint. Might as well have it painted. Right, get as much paint as we can. So aluminum roof with, uh, with the, the Brewster paint on it. And, uh, and then I didn't add any other additional painted, like you could do painted side skirts and stuff. We did the stuff. lower bases on the mirrors and painted as well to match. And then <clears throat> these don't have the stupid squirter, 992. Correct. Is that a touring thing? I'm not 100% sure. I think it's actually a GT3 thing. Yeah. Because uh, I don't believe any of the other standard GT3s I've done have had them either. That's true. And yeah, did my 991s have, I guess they didn't. I don't believe they did either. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm thinking, I'm thinking back to the Carrera, your know, Carrera build. Mm -hmm. So uh, exterior, you know, again, you could, you could choose to paint some of the plastics and stuff. One of the cool things about the touring over the GT3s is the whole front air dam is painted. Correct. Uh, versus the regular GT3 has pl Black plastic. plastic. Correct. So that's some more money for a bargain for my, uh, for my, for my money spent on paint to sample. Uh, not a paint to sample thing, but I got more Brewster paint on the car. The other exterior option we chose were the um, LEDs, LED matrix, LED matrix mm -hmm. headlights. Uh, and then um, the gentleman choice, this is what I was really torn on and I called you and changed this at the last minute, but the window trim, I was going to do silver, silver, platinum, Correct. platinum. And I chose to do, which I'm really glad I did, the touring black package, which Correct. is a free option. And so you get the standard get trim. Get black. And then to match, Ooh. I did the black carbon ceramics, which is freaking cool because this, this is, these are for my 997, but it would, it would be a bit much. Yeah. I mean, it just still doesn't. would look good, but the black is, it, it, it does sense. look Porsche to me, yellow on green, but since black was the option and still doing carbon ceramics, which is a $10,000 option. Um, I just think, I think this is the combo combined with the, uh, you know, the, 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 the touring, I believe these are on the touring the only. The standard, yeah. Yeah, the <clears throat> non-GT3 version of the Porsche Crest on the on the center lock cover. Uh, and then this was a big thing for me. I'm a big black wheel kind of guy, um, but these are the gloss platinum Correct. version of the wheels, which are, I guess, the standard wheel on the car. I don't think I'm gonna change that. Porsche and, does such a great job with stock wheels. Yeah, offsets are great. 
Um, I don't foresee any need to change it. And then I got lucky. Cup twos. Cup twos. Yeah. No dull ops here. Been a while. I got cup. I got um, Michelin's on my on my M3 as well. So I got lucky. Yep. It must be a Porsche Wilmington thing. And with that right? offset, the, the fitment on these cars is just perfect. Like from the factory, mm -hmm. it's, it's unbelievable to see them. That now, nine nine twos, you can really lower. There's a lot of room in the wheel well here, but I think I'm going to just leave it alone, right. which is I, really I, rare for I, me. I, I don't know my, how much better it would get. Yeah. So my exterior plans are: I'm going to paint correct. I'm going to do full uh, Expel Ultimate from uh, our friends at Auto Paint Guard. Uh, Ryan Burroughs will do that for me, uh, and then I'm going to top my Expel with uh, Crystal Serum Ultra and the new version of XL, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet. We're going to put that on top. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably, just because we're in Florida and I spent a lot of money, we're going to talk about the interior in a second. I'm going to tint the windows, but I'm probably going to do like 70%, just the heat rejection. Um, unlike, you know, that is a 35% on the G80 M3. Um, I'm going to go a little bit lighter and kind of keep that, that gentleman. So you can still look inside. Yeah, gentleman spec. You spend that money, you want to... Yeah. You want to be able to see inside of it. It helps with the police and they can see that you're an old man in there. You know? <laughs> so it helps keep you out of trouble. Uh, so the only other thing I'm going to do performance exterior wise, I'm going to do the um, uh, Dundon headers and exhaust, but I'm going to choose their titanium center muffler, which is going to cost me a pretty penny. Uh, but I really don't intend to do any modification. I'm not going to do aftermarket wheels, um, just get the paint protected corrected and protected and yes even a new porsche needs to be corrected Correct. um so i'm going to do all that stuff but the uh, the exterior is going to look like this just shinier which i'm excited about so let's uh, jump on the interior and let's show people what uh, what we did in there because that's where the that's where the money was spent <laughs> on this puppy. yes yeah All right, Tom, we were torn. Cognac, Cohiba. I think we did all right. Cohiba's the way to go. Cognac is beautiful. Cohiba's just got a nice it's darker, darker, yeah, it's a darker hue to yeah. it. It just is, it's right. So this was another call at the last minute and say, you know, I think I should pony up for this. Yeah. Um, so this has exclusive manufacturer optioned leather interior package. That's how we got the Cognac option. Correct. I was gonna just do black and keep it simple. Uh, this added about $21,000 worth of expense in order to do this, but literally everything in here is leather that traditionally isn't, right? Correct. So um, we have these, I, and I also opted, since I sold my GT3 RS and I sold my GT4, and this was gonna be my GT car for the foreseeable future, I chose to not do sofas, I did the sport buckets. Correct. And sport buckets with exclusive manufacturer just gives you that extra pop. It's unbelievable. Um, about the only thing I could see myself changing in here is I may try some different, you know, inserts. Uh, the race Tex is super durable, but not quite as pretty looking as some, you know, Alcantara or leather finish. So I might try some different options. I'm not a big uh, ounce tooth guy, so I probably won't do that. Um, but the seats look fantastic. So the I think this is one of the biggest bargains in the Porsche, you know, with all catalog. the leather that you get in exclusive manufacturer interiors choices. This is yeah. I, I mean, if you really want a special interior, this is the way you go. Yeah, because <laughs> to do CXX, this would cost you know two three times that twenty grand. And if you we've wanted, seen it before, yeah, if you wanted to do some special leather, so them adding this the touring for the nine nine two was a really awesome treat. Yeah, which showed up sort of toward the end. It wasn't in. Even even in the configurator for quite some time. Correct. So this, um, the exclusive manufacturer, as you can see, all leather here, leather here, leather Sport on the Smart Chrono, Chrono, leather, leather steering wheel. Uh, leather mirror base up top here oh, oh shoot, as well. <laughs> yeah, as you get to the side panels on the doors here, they're all finished in leather. Leather. Um, your steering column casing is leather. Mm. Those door sill guards. Right here. Um, the other thing that they do is they finish the leather all the way into the back where the back seat would be as well. Yeah. Um, and stitch back there as well, so it's very nice. And then you get the cross stitching to match what your stitching is on the steering wheel with this as well. You get the fancy um, leather. Uh, and I got both of them. Owner's manual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I gave it to one of the guys in there. He probably put it in his, uh, 
his Audi or something like that. And then the key fob is also got a leather pouch yep. and the sides are also leather. They give you two sets of floor mats as well, mm -hmm. leather, leather pair. So, um, and then I opted for uh, to pay for the leather sun visors. Which are actually a really nice touch. I haven't seen many of them before. It's an actually very nice touch. So I'm not a interior aficionado. It's not like my thing. Sure. And I mainly did this for the color. Um, so to pay, you know, tons and tons of money to do all the extra leathers traditionally out of character for me. But I don't know, this car just is special. And to do the special interior, you know, seemed to make a lot of sense to me. That's where Porsche separates themselves from almost everybody else is how special and how their fit and finish is better than, uh, it's hard Much to say. Much simpler, not as loud, not as exciting. They get a lot yes. of flack for that, but from a Luxury. pure function. Mm -hmm. The other thing, like I could pull every panel out of this and put it back in, none Correct. tabs would break, it would fit, it wouldn't be wonky. I mean, because I've done this to some other cars, I don't intend to do that, do that <laughs> to this one. Uh, other things I opted for was the light design package. Like in here, you have you know LEDs, like subtle LED lights. Even on the inside here is leather. And so, these door handles typically are not going to be covered in leather. Uh, yeah. But again, that was part of it as well. Yeah. So the you know, the uh, and then I added bows, which I wish man if, if, if all I need is to add bermis to this, and this wait, would be absolute perfection. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I would love to have that. That would be amazing. I've even thought about retrofitting it. So so the interior cost you know a good chunk of the of the expense. I would have been you know under two hundred grand had I done Easily. just the base interior. But I, I think this was worth it, especially since I figured, you know, if I, let's say six years from now, I still had this car and I had the option to spend 20 grand more to do this, I think most people would choose that. You know, I think looking this. back in, in the future, when you look back at this build, you will say that was some of the best money we ever spent was because of that. Yeah, leave the, I left the fire extinguisher out. With your Alcantara headliners as well, your seat belt outlets are also done in Alcantara. Yeah. I mean, as you continue, I mean, you can see I'm sitting here and I know most of this stuff, but as I'm sitting here and remembering it, yeah. it, it all starts to come back and you're just, you keep finding more stuff that's that's done in leather. If, yeah, these vents are, I think, are, yeah, the vents are also done in leather. Oh, shit. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, they are. Look at and that. look at the center ones. The center ones are done in the Cohiba as well. Yeah. It's just those extra little touches that really kind of set it apart. Yeah. Because you'll see other touring builds, but you know, unless they did, yeah. that's what people are looking for later on when you go into the secondary mm -hmm. market with these cars is what were the equipment and how much was that original build sheet that yeah. has a lot to do with it in my world. And we also have the pedals here as well in aluminum. Oh yeah, the aluminum pedals. That's always my favorite option. And I, you know, a lot of people don't like that, but I think it's the best choice. It's 600 bucks to do instead of grippy plastic, you know, or rubber uh, pedals to do it in, in, um, in the, the, the aluminum finish. Two of my favorite options, pedals and the one that you didn't go with, which was the fire extinguisher. Yeah, it gets in the way. So the touring cars have Instead of a big wing, big fixed wing, it has the adjustable spoiler, you know, that comes up. You can you can put it in fixed up position and leave it there. I don't like that. I prefer to leave it down. And then this is the extent of what you get to see. Unless you take the panels off the bottom, this is what you get to see of the you know engine bay. Maybe you change your you know change your oil and add coolant, which you really shouldn't need to do. Um, but uh, of course, the 92 comes with the you know four liter you know four liter um, boxer. So that's all you get from a from a engine view perspective. In the front trunk area, nothing special here. Um, carbon fiber, carbon fiber front um, exposed front lid. Underside. Yeah, which but, is kind of a cool showpiece to show yeah. people. And then I'll special order the uh, the insert for this. I like the little rubber or rubberized plastic insert that you can put in here to keep your keep your fabric from I've getting jacked up. I've seen somebody makes a leather one. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll get that. Stay super fancy. You know, gentleman build. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gentleman spec. All right. So I think we did all right. I think so too. 
I'm happy this, with um, it. This, yeah, this is a dreams back here. Well, thanks for the opportunity to allow me to get this. It's so weird that you can want, now I'm in a position where I can get a car like this. Mm -hmm. And not everybody can get them. Still, know. it's still a big want right now. Yeah, and so thanks for the opportunity of letting me do this. I, I promise I'll be a good steward of this thing, and uh, we'll certainly be sharing it with the world. And and um, I'm going to take really good care of it. But I'm I'm really pumped how it turned out. I, I need to go drive the darn thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. That is the that's the point of having it, right? Well, well part, I know to clean it, man. You know, but well, part of my. <clears throat> What I've, what I've had to tell myself to do with this is like, I'm gonna have this for a long time, so I'm taking my time with it. I've been in such a rush, you know, with a lot of cars. Uh, and so I'm not in a rush with this. I have a few other projects I'd like to complete. Uh, the G80, the 997 GT3 RS that I'm messing with. So I'd like to complete those projects and then I can really focus. Like for example, when I unwrapped this car, I didn't do it on camera. I did it by myself in my garage and worry about capturing it. I just wanted to enjoy the experience. I mean, this is my first GT3 that I've ever gotten new, you know, new. from the factory. I was able to spec to my other, it. I've had three others, but they were all somebody else's car that right. I just happened to buy. Uh, so this was my first GT3 that I've been able to spec and I think that um, I think it turned out pretty darn nice. So stay tuned for more info. Hit up uh, Tom Walsh at uh, Porsche Wilmington, North Carolina. If you need uh, if they do BMW and Porsche, uh, he's not going to be able to get you one of these, I don't think. But you can make the call and start the relationship. Never, never hurts to start. That's what it's about. I mean, I don't think. I, I think you know, we would have a relationship with or without YouTube. Uh, and that's what it is with Porsche and being able to get these cars. You're not going to be able to get everyone you want. Correct. Unless you're buying you know, 25 cars from them a year or something crazy. And even if you're doing that, it's still hard. But yes. It's about the long term relationship, the, you know, the, you know, doing this together. Like we, we spec this car. Right. You know, we spec this car together. And that's a huge advantage of dealing with, um, you know, dealing with Porsche, a Porsche brand ambassador rather than just, you know, buying a, a Hyundai or some other Honda Correct. or something like that. It's a much different experience. So thanks for making it great for me. And how many other sales guys would drive seven and a half hours to come see you? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted you to be a part of sharing this with the people. So thanks for coming down. But um, yeah, people keep, Keep an eye out for more Brewster content. I promise we'll um, we'll share with you um, more of what I do with the car. Hopefully, it's lots of driving videos. That's the plan. I hope so too. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. Brewster is. Uh, I'm really excited for it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.